All right, guys. So I know that the Jordan Travis thing about him returning for next season has kind of caught the eyes of a lot of Florida State fans so far. But you do have to realize that Brendan Sinon from Knowles 24-7, he did put in a crystal ball prediction as of Monday uh, morning, I believe, uh, with Edwin Joseph, uh, the athlete. He's a three-star out of Hollywood, Florida, and he's been a guy that Florida State's been kind of after recently. He's more of an athlete, more uh, wide receiver slash DB, and I kind of view him as a DB more than likely. Uh, just because I think Florida State needs to add more to that room. Now, if they want to add a fourth receiver, I still think they go after maybe a transfer portal guy more than anything. Uh, but I do like him as a DB. But he did have a pretty productive season last year, going uh, catching 35 passes, 561 yards, and four touchdowns. And this is kind of, uh, kind of relatively easy to see when you're following the visits along with how he's been able to kind of develop those relationships with the Florida State coaching staff. You look and see that he had an official visit to Penn State on September 23rd. Then you turn around and have an official visit to Auburn on November the 11th, Louisville on November the 4th, uh, South Carolina on no- November the 18th, and then you turn around and have an official visit this weekend to Florida State on December the 9th. That is the last official visit, but he can be able to visit Auburn and Louisville because they do have two new coaches that he visited before they are going to get those new hires. So there could be a possibility there. And as I stated before, the early signing period does start on December uh, 21st. So that is very uh, something to key into, especially with everything going on. But you do know that he does have a big relationship with Hakeem Williams. They did visit together. I believe that was during the Clemson game, I remember correctly. Um, So that was something there. And I believe he visited during the Georgia Tech game as well as an unofficial visitor. So there is a lot of interest there at Florida State. He really likes his coaching staff, specifically Ron Dugans and also Randy Shannon, because Randy Shannon is a part of that area in the Miami area. He has a lot of connections there. Um, But this seemed like a Miami trend for quite some time. And now it seems like Florida State's kind of taking that edge, especially with the crystal ball prediction there. I believe two Miami insiders picked uh, Miami crystal balls. Now, granted, Sinon's crystal ball prediction is only a 5 out of 10, but it is something to really worry about here. I think Florida State sits in a pretty good spot at this point. I had a, a inkling to say that there may be a chance for him to go to Louisville with all that remo- uh, recruiting momentum hype that they had, but then when you're seeing a Satterfield go off to Cincinnati, there's just kind of some instances there where maybe the recruiting class falls apart with Louisville. Um, maybe he might have went to Auburn, but they had a coaching staff, uh, staff change, so – There's just a lot of different things going on, and you're looking at some of these guys going there, and it makes a lot of sense. I mean, if you're really into um, Hakeem Williams and and your relationship with him and you turn around and have a guy that's really, really close to him as well, um, you could have a guy that's playing DB. Maybe he doesn't do well at DB, and he turns over to play the receiver position. I mean, there's a lot of options there, and I think he's very versatile in what he does. So I think that's a really, really good get for Florida State. I think this is something they really need in this class because they need guys that can play safety, can play cornerback as well. I think he ends up as being more of a safety type, but I do really like him because, I mean, when you look at his size so far, I mean, he's six foot, 178 pounds. He's going to get a little bit bigger as we go through. But, I mean, if he can get up to that six foot, 185, uh, 190 type, I think can really, really be effective. Uh, as we go through it, he may not be a year one guy, maybe a year two or year three, but I do like where Florida State is. I think personally, he is a little bit undervalued in certain cases. I believe he's mostly a high three star in some of these cases. I think he needs to be a high or a uh, mid tier, low four star, I think is where he needs to be. But we'll definitely see how that kind of pans out. But I do like if Florida State is able to get Edwin Joseph, I think this could be a really good get for Florida State going forward there and can really boast of this recruiting class as we go forward because they're getting some of these South Florida connections like a Reuben Bain, Damari uh, Brown as well. I think there's a couple of guys there that I think Florida State can seal the deal on if they're able to kind of get their foot into the door. I think that's really big because they're going to have a big recruiting weekend this Um, during the 16th, and I think that's going to be really big. But I think getting that one-on-one kind of companionship with a couple other guys that are going to be there um, on December 9th, I think can really be key in kind of landing Joseph. And then maybe he can come back for the 16th and kind of get prepared for that big recruiting weekend that a lot of commits are going to be coming into. But I hope each and every one of you enjoyed this video. Like I said, I'm trying to put out videos as much as I can, trying to do them every single day if I can. I'm trying to get back on the grind and actually try to be able to get motivated to do these YouTube videos. But as always, I really do appreciate all the love and support on my Instagram account, my Twitter account, 
everything like that. I really do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. And I hope you all have a great rest of the day. And as always, go Noles.